Welcome to Memphis Business Academy Middle and High School, where execs begin the day with breakfast at 7 a.m. Classes begin at 7.30. We'd like to take a few moments now to familiarize you with our school culture, which includes our uniforms, our classroom codes, and our checkout and dismissal procedures. Our school culture begins with our SOS. Our SOS is recited every morning and embodies the core values we instill in our execs here at MBA. So let's begin with the uniform. Excess should be dressed in full uniform each day when they arrive at school, prepared and ready for the day. Executive middle school males must not have hair longer than 1.5 inches. As with all execs, hair should not have colors which are unnatural, such as purple, teal, red, or pink, to name a few. In addition, no executives may have styles which include designs or words. High school boys can grow their hair longer and may have twists, but braids are strictly prohibited for boys of all ages. Girls may not wear headscarves or wraps, but may wear simple hair accessories in colors which match the school uniform. In addition, all executive girls are permitted to wear braids. Please note, no middle school execs are permitted to wear hair color of any kind. Next, we look at earrings. Male execs may not wear earrings of any kind. In addition, facial piercings are prohibited for all execs. Female execs may wear one earring in each ear in the lobe only. Earrings must be small studs with small backs. Hoops, dangling, and spiked earrings are prohibited at MBA. Other jewelry permitted by MBA includes for male executives a class ring only. Necklaces, bracelets, and earrings may not be worn by male executives. Female execs may wear a class ring or one small ring on each hand. In addition, lady execs may wear a thin small bracelet. However, multicolored, rubber band, or multiple bangles are unacceptable. Please note that execs with tattoos must keep them covered at all times. Ties must be worn by all execs, male and female. We take pride in the plaid, however, execs may wear solid navy or green ties also. Please note, neck scarves may not replace neckties and should not be worn during school hours. All execs may wear jackets, sweaters, or blazers over their uniforms as long as those items are in the improved solid colors. These articles of clothing may not have designs, logos, or patterns. Hoodies and sweatshirts are prohibited. Both male and female execs wear dress shirts only in the pre-approved colors. Knit or polo shirts are unacceptable. Shirts are buttoned to the top, and boys must tuck their shirts into their trousers. Please note that boys must also wear belts in the approved colors. Belts may not have designs, and buckles should not be accessorized. Undergarments, such as shorts or tank tops, may be worn beneath the uniform and must be black or white. Undergarments may not have designs which show through the uniform. Executive ladies take pride in their plaid skirts. Skirts are knee length or longer at all times. Gentlemen wear dress khaki pants, which don't have pockets on the outside of the leg. Khaki pants may not be substituted for khaki jeans and may not be cinched at the bottom of the leg. Please be aware of the school-wide policy that there shall be no sagging on campus. Execs finish their uniform with dress socks and dress shoes in the approved colors. Female execs wear socks which are knee length. Shoes may not have white soles, however saddle oxfords and loafers are acceptable. Athletic, canvas, boot, or high top shoes are prohibited for all execs. Lady execs may not wear heels higher than one inch and are prohibited from wearing sandals or wedges. We're still working on supply and demand. 
And today we're going to continue to talk about supply and demand. We're going to work on predicting supply and demand. So we're going to continue. Alright, so what is your response to the EHC? Okay, my response to the EHC since the Ron James is a, you know, baby best one like thing, I feel like the people who want to reject me, the demand that we reject me will go through the prices and Tracking in voice. Thank you. What is your counter argument? Well, I, I do agree about him being a famous So we're going to begin with us defining supply and demand in our notes. So can I get Selena to read for us what is supply? So well, who is your favorite creator? Okay, and what does Bill Gates create? All right, so I want everybody standing to your feet, stand to your feet, stand to your feet. I want you to go find someone across the room that you are not sitting by, and you have exactly 90 seconds, a minute and a half, to discuss which do you think would cost more, a 1962? Or a 2004 Corvette, and it tell me why. Uh, drop top, pristine condition, about a red, burgundy. Yeah, that cost way more than mine. Right, right. and it's still in the good yeah, condition. That's probably the bottom. It's not that cold. It's not that cold. All right, can I get a volunteer to? Tell us, why do you think the 2004 would cost more? <laughs> you can't change your decision. I think, oh yeah, it's a You're gonna stay, okay. I think because you don't have like newer technology than 1962, like Red Wheels or like the GPA or something. I think I like your camera.
Dismissal time is promptly at 3.30 each day, and all execs must be picked up by 3.45 p.m. After 3.45, there is no supervision for execs on campus. Execs remaining in the parking lot after 3.45 will be asked to wait on the Overton Crossing sidewalk.